Jackie Robinson Day across all of Major League Baseball. It's a very special day for the game. All the players wear number 42 on their jersey, and MLB The Show likes to join in on the celebration every year with some form of Jackie Robinson content in Diamond Dynasty. And this year, they brought back the 93 Jackie Robinson that they introduced in last year's game. This is a cool card. He's a shortstop just like the Barrier Breakers card, and the attributes are fine. It's about what you'd expect from a 93 Jackie Robinson card. And you can unlock this Jackie Robinson card at the end of the new Jackie Robinson Day program where they brought back more of the Storylines players from last year, as well as a Barrier Breakers pack at 45 points, which is pretty nice. I think this is cool that they brought these players back. However, I do think it would have been kind of nice to get like a fresh card series in here, maybe something similar to like the 42 series that we got in MLB 21. Regardless, I still think this is cool and it's actually a pretty easy program to grind. Let me show you how I'm gonna do it. First up, there's a collection for all the storylines players. I've done all of the storylines. I love the storylines mode. I think they've done a really good job with it the past two years. So regardless of whether there was a collection for these cards or not, I was going to complete them. And I highly recommend you guys do it too. It's a really awesome experience and storyline. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all seven of these core players. And that's going to give me 10 points in the program. Next up, there's one moment and all you have to do is get on base and you get five points. Ah, yes. Who could forget the legendary moment when Jackie Robinson faced Max Freed? Hey, there we go. We got on base. Easy enough for that moment. And just like that, that's another five points and I got Buck O'Neill. Now, after that, 15 points. I only need 35 points to complete the rest of the program and unlock Jackie. And the conquest itself gives you 35 points. There's other missions in here like parallel XP. If you get 4,200 parallel XP with any cards throughout the game, you get another 10 points. You can do multiplayer missions, which will give you like five or 10 points a piece. But I'm just going to go into this conquest and win these games really easily on a low difficulty and just be done with it. I'm not even going to grind any XP because just completing the conquest gets me what I need. Boom. Otani strikeout to end game one just like that. Literally all I'm doing is just getting into a game, getting a couple runs, and bunting away the rest of the outs. The other thing is I've already finished all of the new team affinity. You'll see that probably with a video tomorrow so i really don't have anything to grind plus you can get a few hidden packs in this conquest i'm sure that's game number two down gotta get the yankees again get him otani come on come on bang goodbye john birdie never stood a chance and now all that stands between me and that jackie card is three wins against the dodgers come on come on bang there's one win against the dodgers oh baby that's two games against the Dodgers. One more win for Jackie Robinson. Let's go. Three more outs. Let's finish the job. There's one. Two. And let's go ahead and make it three. See you later, Freddy. And that officially completes the Jackie Robinson Day program. And by the way, these are season one cards, so you can add them to your season one collection, which is also pretty nice. All right, so I've got all the new cards on the squad, and we're going to throw the Barrier Breakers cards on there as well. Also, the new Larry Doby from Storylines, I'm putting him on the squad, and I'm going to use Hilton Smith as my pitcher. As I search for this game, just a reminder that if you're going to any baseball games, use code Coogs on SeatGeek to save $20 on your tickets, and check out Underdog Fantasy. They always have a lot of fun stuff going on for new customers, like these special picks you can add to your first pick entry. If you want to get these picks, just sign up with code Coogs. They'll match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars as well jackie robinson will be taking on shohei otani let's go jackie oh i thought i was all over that i didn't move the pci at all stay fair for me stay fair no that's a tough at bat for doby man so close to a home run I hate playing at Yankee Stadium because of that stupid sound. They made that so loud. All right, Hilton Smith, let's go. He's got an interesting pitch mix here. He's got a curveball as his primary. He's got a sinker, slider, changeup, fastball. Very interesting stuff. Let's see how he does. Jackie. Yep, I have Jackie playing out of position in center field, by the way. In order to get Hank Aaron, Jackie. Oh, I should have put Hank in the outfield. But in order to get 
Hank Aaron, Tony Stone, Buck O'Neill, all these players in the lineup. I had to, you know, move Jackie to center field and, you know, he doesn't have it as a secondary, but he plays well out there. This first inning is not going well. Not going to score. Hilton Smith has the really fast pinpoint from the stretch. It's honestly kind of tough to pitch with. What do you got? That didn't miss by much either. All right, base is loaded. Yeah, I mean, that's literally a strike, but okay. Come on, double play. He does have 91 speed going to first, but we got out of the jam. He got on top of the curveball, and Hilton Smith escapes. De Higo, give me a base hit to center field. a boy. I love Martin DeHigo, man. He was my catcher for a long time. Now that I have Mike Napoli and even the new Mitch Garver, there's just a lot of options there, but I do really like Martin DeHigo behind the dish. Although he's playing at, I think, third base in this game. I have Josh Gibson, that catcher for me. Felt good about that swing. I think I'll be at third base. I think I'm in there. Yeah. Gotta love that aggressive base running. Come on, Gibson. Dude, I'm hitting 360 with that Gibson card, but it is the fakest 360 average you'll ever see. All that card does whenever he gets a hit is a soft single just finding its way into the outfield. I swear, they have that bat sound for him, but it honestly feels like it makes his card weaker. I can't even describe it. Good pitch. There we go. Let's keep this scoreless. Come on. But also in the comments, let me know what you think about this new Jackie Robinson program. Do you guys like the cards? Do you like the Jackie Robinson? Are you going to complete the program? Regardless of if you like it or not, I feel like you should complete it just for the fact that you get four season one cards towards your collections anyway. And it's not hard to do. It's a really fast program to grind, honestly. Ah, it's down the line. Yeah, my only issue is I just wish maybe they could have brought back like some of the 42 cards from MLB 21. I already said that earlier. Otherwise, I think this program's solid. All right, popped him up, out of the inning, scoreless after two. I gotta find a way to get on the board here. Every time I feel confident about a swing, I just don't get a good result. I was so ready to pull that for a home run with Buck Leonard, but I missed it. Ah, that PCI placement is just horrendous, man. Come on. Not going to fall. Dude, it's going to be tough to hit. I'm getting a lot of soft contact. I also don't understand how there's not a barrier breakers captain. Like, I know we have the Rube Foster, but that card only boosts the cards you get from storylines, the 85s. Oh, God. That was a bad pitch. That didn't go anywhere near where I wanted it, but I got away with it. We got this one, Henry Aaron. I don't think Buck Leonard's making this play. Oh, he is. What a snag out there and left. Can Doby get that one on the short porch? It looks like he's going to try to time up a robbery. Larry Doby, he got his home run. It's not the craziest distance, but you know what? Welcome to Yankee Stadium. Up the middle, out of boy. Buck O'Neill. Come on, I gotta turn this into a big rally. Yep, what an electric swing to keep the rally going, huh? Ooh, ooh! Hank Thompson, I don't think that's leaving. Uh, off the wall. Just need a little bit more pop there. Nope, 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 nope. I feel like I'm only really going to be able to hit with the lefties right now. The righty-righty Otani matchups are just not clicking for me so far. Ground ball. Got him to go for the slider. We got one in the fourth. Come on. I don't know if I've thrown the four seam once, but I'm going up with it here. Come on, dude. That was so far up. How does he get a piece? There we go. Finally got him. Another ground ball, four shutout innings from Hilton Smith. Told you, bro, I just, I don't hit the ball well with Josh Gibson. Mm, no, man, I'm good timing. Just get the freaking PCI on it, please. Wow. 
<laughs> wow, Eddie. All right. Dude, one run is not going to be enough here. I've got to figure it out at the plate, and I've got to figure it out fast. I cannot rely on just one wall scraping home run from Larry Doby to win this game. I know Hilton Smith has pitched well so far, but I can't imagine that he's going to get like a complete game shutout. I think my opponent will get something at some point. I mean, hey, if he keeps going for pitches like that, maybe I don't have to worry too much. Come on. Finish the AB. Did not finish the AB. Come on, Hilton. I'm relying on you to get out of a tough spot again. And Hilton is going to get out of it again. I'm honestly surprised that I've thrown five shutout innings with him. Come on, Jackie. You got to get a hit. That's just... I'm telling you, bro. The righty-righty matchups, just they're not working for me here. Larry Doby is the man. That's his second extra base hit of the game. Honestly, almost his third. We remember that foul home run in the first at bat. I just don't know why I can't track the ball at all. Righty, righty. Oh, God. Stop. Stop. Get up the middle. Go. 70 speed. We got to bring him in. The Higo delivers a huge RBI in the sixth. That's what I needed, even with the horn going. Oh, my God. Hank Thompson, second deck. That's a... Th that went to the third deck. 428, I'm replaying it because that literally hit the third deck of Yankee Stadium. Bro, unbelievable stuff from Hank Thompson. Got a four-run lead, but don't take your foot off the gas, Hilton. Nah, I can't dive for it. Let's be smart here. He might try to run with Trout because that Trout has 99 speed on the Buxton boost. Completely froze him with that beautiful pitch. Throwing him a slider. I'm hoping for a ground ball to second. Not a ground ball, but an out nonetheless. Keep it in the yard, baby. Six zeros for Hilton. I want more runs. Come on. Never mind. It's not going to happen with Josh Gibson. Oh my God. That's another one that hit that third deck. Buck Leonard, almost 116 off the bat. I'm telling you, it's the lefties. I'm just seeing the ball way better with the lefties in this game right now. Tony Stone, can she get two? Nope, we gotta stay one. Come on, Jackie, 0 for three. Don't go hitless today. Perfect, perfect. Jackie is in the hit column. This is not the guy you wanna face with a righty. You better go to a lefty right here, man. Yep, Aaron Bummer. All right, let's see Doby, lefty, lefty. Let's see if he still got it. Perfect, perfect against a lefty too. That's gonna be bases loaded for Buck O'Neill. Man, he is lucky that he just got away with that. We're gonna score the run and we're gonna get to third. The inning keeps going. Missed it, man. Just missed it. All good. We increased the lead even more for Hilton Smith. He's going into the seventh, still scoreless at 72 pitches. I do have Jose Mendez and Leon Day warmed up. If Hilton allows a run, I'm probably going to go to one of them out of the pen because I haven't used either one of them yet. Jackie, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off. a boy. <laughs> he didn't even get a great jump on that, but that's why I put Jackie in center field over somebody like Hank Aaron or Tony Stone, you know? And we got out number two. Come on. I want to keep this shutout. No. I missed the slider. Damn it. That's going to end the shutout for Hilton Smith. Tough, man. Well, we got the line out to end the inning, but that's going to be it for Hilton Smith. Seven innings of one run ball. All right, let's go to Jose Mendez for the eighth inning. Let's see what this card's all about. It's got a slurve, a sinker, a changeup. See what the slurve looks like first pitch. Wow, that moves a lot. He goes, got you. Don't worry about it. Oh. <laughs> Henry Aaron laying out. I mean, that's that's a great inning from Jose Mendez. Ninth inning now, the lefty is still in. Jackie will get one more at bat. He's due up third here. Get by him. Ah. Great swing, Tony Stone. And it's down. 
No, I dropped the PCI too far. Jackie could have easily gone right center for a home run there. Fluke? 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 Not this time. Well, we got a five-run lead going into the ninth inning. Jose Mendez is going to try to get these last three outs. Let's go. He actually hit that hard, but right to Buck O'Neill. Jackie's got you. He's going to get everything out there. And there it is. Fitting that the final out is going to go to Jackie Robinson in center field. And that's a great 6-1 to one victory. That was actually a really fun game. I had to battle through the first five innings to kind of figure out the swing and the timing. But eventually, we got a big few at-bats. Larry Doby, Hank Thompson. Just a really solid game. And that's actually my first ranked seasons win on my account for this new season. Happy Jackie Robinson Day, everybody.